Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today on Geography Stream. Today we're going to be learning about challenges in the desert. If you haven't already watched my other videos about hot deserts, climate and soils, plant adaptations, animal adaptations and opportunities in the deserts, I'd recommend that you watch those before you start watching this video. The links are all in the description below. There are three main challenges in the desert climate, mineral extraction and tourism. The main problem is climate. This is because there's less than 250 millimetres of rainfall and high temperatures of 50 degrees, which can cause drought. In the Tar Desert in Pakistan, there's a prolonged drought and there has been a prolonged drought for the past four years. Global warming is making this problem worse. There's pressure on farmers because the crop growth is limited and their cattle are dying of heat exhaustion. The farmers struggle to grow the crops and then they can't sell their animals and this means that they've got low income and in some cases farmers may go into debt and this can hinder the level of development. Another problem is tourism and the climate links to tourism because it's a really hot place, lots of tourists want to go and visit. But the problem is the water supply is really limited. So when tourists arrive in Jasamar, it's classed as a honeypot site. And what we mean by this is that it, the place, the city, attracts more visitors than its capacity. And unfortunately, because the infrastructure, the network of pipes is really old, it can't cope with all these extra people and the growing population within the city. So it means that there's more pressure on the water supply, which also increases the price. Sometimes, if there's loads of tourists arriving in the summer months, this can cause a drought for local people. So the poorest people in the city then rely on old wells which are contaminated with salt water, so it's undrinkable. Therefore, these people then have to walk to other areas to collect water, but the water is contaminated and that can lead to diseases like cholera and typhoid, which can cause vomiting and diarrhea. And this can lead to dehydration. And because these people are poor, it can be quite difficult for them to access healthcare and therefore it results in a shorter life expectancy. So this is quite a big challenge for local people living in the desert. Another challenge is mineral extraction. Mining can cause a variety of problems such as loss of habitats, air pollution, soil contamination, water pollution and mines can be incredibly noisy. About 400 kilometres away from Karachi in Pakistan, there's been a new coal mine that has been built. This part of the desert contains 175 billion tonnes of lignite, which is often referred to as a brown coal and it's used to generate electricity. But this causes a social and environmental problem. The local villagers in the area are being offered money by a big Chinese coal company to leave the village to make more space for mining. This has led to the construction of new roads. Trees have been cut down and this means there's less shade on the soil, which can lead to the soil drying out. So when the strong winds blow, it takes the soil away and it causes soil erosion and this makes it very difficult for local villagers to farm. Mining also presents an environmental problem because by clearing the land, it damages fragile habitats, which means that there's less producers in the food chain. So some of the consumers, the animals, will have less to eat, so their numbers decrease. And as a result, some animals may be at risk of extinction. There's also a problem with water pollution that big mines cause and this is a big problem in the desert because some of the poorest people are relying on that water to drink and if it's contaminated the diseases will spread. Finally I just thought we'd talk through some general problems in the desert. Roads are difficult to build in the desert because it's so hot that the tarmac melts. Sandstorms are frequent, which causes air pollution and breathing difficulties. There can be lots of dust picked up during a sandstorm. You can only get to most places in the desert by camel. And finally, there is this unreliable rainfall, 
which means that the river Lunai's flow is unreliable and if people are relying on that water to drink then that pre presents a further problem. So thank you for watching today. Like I've said, please check out my other videos, hot deserts, climate and soils, plants adaptations, animal adaptations, opportunities in hot deserts. All the links are below. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon.